Projectile motion. Projectile motion is the movement of a body through the air following a curved flight path under the force of gravity. A projectile is a body launched into the air and subjected to weight and air resistant forces. A graph of height against horizontal distance travelled represents the flight path a projectile takes. This will give a quick visual impression of the shape of the flight path and the overall distance travelled. It will also give an indication of factors that have affected the flight path. Do you know what these factors are? Curry can stop and set his speed for a jump shot in just a third of a second. And with virtually no wasted motion, his jumper is efficient and repeatable. His forearm is always within five degrees of vertical, and he consistently releases the ball as he's rising six hundredths of a second before the apex of his jump. On a three-point shot, Curry typically releases the ball between 50 and 55 degrees at just 6'3", four inches shorter than the NBA average. Not only does this higher trajectory help him shoot over taller defenders, it also creates a larger target at the other end of the parabola. Just think, projectile motion has four factors. These are height of release, angle of release, aerodynamics and speed of release. The horizontal distance a projectile travels is primarily affected by the speed of release due to Newton's second law of acceleration. Do you remember what that law is? A body's rate of change in momentum is proportional to the size of the force applied and acts in the same direction as the force applied. Therefore, due to Newton's second law of acceleration, the greater the force applied to the projectile, the greater the change in momentum and therefore acceleration of the projectile into the air. The greater the outgoing speed of the projectile, the further it will travel. The horizontal distance a projectile travels is also affected by the angle of release. Based on a projectile being released at the same speed from the ground, what do you think will happen if you release a projectile at 90 degrees, 45 degrees or 60 degrees? Discuss with your partner. At a 90 degree angle, the projectile will accelerate vertically upwards and come straight back down travelling 0 metres. 45 degrees is the optimal angle to maximise horizontal distance. Angles greater than 45 degrees reach peak heights too quickly and rapidly return to the ground. Less than 45 degrees, the projectile does not achieve sufficient height to maximise flight time. The release height and the landing height must be equal for the angle to be optimal at 45 degrees. An example of this is javelin and shot, as the optimal angle of release must be less than 45 degrees as the projectile already has an increased flight time due to the increased height of release. What angle do you think is needed in order to get the golf ball out of the bunker? when the release height is below the landing height. 